No teleprompter today. Take 94. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Friends, followers, and haters. I've noticed I get a lot of hate recently every time I break down something that I'm doing for work. I'm not sure what's provoked the recent hate. You know, fuck those people. Today I'm going to break down part two of making ad-friendly sex toy commercials for social media with Wet For Her. Very first line, Chief. Stars come through. If you haven't seen my last video, over the summer we shot a series of ad-friendly sex toy commercials for a lesbian-owned sex toy brand. The person that handles most of the social media already had scripts in place, so all we had to do was kind of uh, brainstorm on shot list ideas and how to execute some of the trickier shots that were going to be shot in public. New York is a crazy place, it's high traffic, and this required a little bit of strategic planning to make sure that I could execute the shots safely and do so in a manner to where I could actually focus on what I was shooting and not have to be distracted, worried about being clipped by a taxi or a rogue bike messenger that has no fucking concern for anybody else on the road. For the U-Haul stuff that we did, Becky already designed these like UPS logo-ish things to place on Nick's uniform and place on the truck. And they just went out and rigged the truck to cover up the U-Haul logos and put the Wet For Her logos over in place. I owned a sport bike shop years ago and we used to make stunt videos on our bikes. So I'm already kind of used to doing really stupid shit to get a shot that could get me killed. If you notice, this finger is bent. I'm riddled with injuries from doing dumb shit like this. So I try to do it a little safer so I don't wind up with any broken bones and don't wind up in the hospital. I'm riding on one wheel, which is already dangerous enough. You're going to need backup for this. Whether you're shooting in New York or anywhere else, this is just good practice. This is really guerrilla filmmaking at its finest. So uh, for shooting in traffic when you don't have permits and you don't have ways to block off a set for you, that's going to already increase the stakes. New York is incredibly unpredictable. There's always some kind of crazy shit falling from a window or car accidents. There's tourists here that don't know where they're going that get easily confused and flustered, run red lights, run, drive into oncoming traffic. This is really hard to give advice on this because it's fucking dangerous. We mapped out the course around the couple blocks that we were shooting on. We had the talent in the U-Haul truck and then I was chasing Nick, who is on the bike, chasing the U-Haul. When we're shooting stuff like this where it might get a little dangerous, I still shoot my rehearsal takes because sometimes I'll just nail it on the first take and then it's just a matter of getting safeties for it. So I keep my camera running for the additional footage just in case. So by having a second person ride next to you kind of staggered behind me, it blocks the lane, it doesn't let traffic come up and cut me off or squeeze in, and then we don't have to worry about me getting hit from behind because there's a second person making sure that the lanes are blocked. Now we're not holding traffic up, we're moving along, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of reason for anybody to go around us. If we were doing this on the highway, it would be no different than when we did it on sport bikes. We always had a group ride behind us that would block both lanes so that cars couldn't get in between us because, yeah, we were doing wheelies and shit. The last thing you want to do is wreck your bike and then get run over by a fucking truck on top of it. Just as a tip doing this, I want to say that pedestrians are, have probably been the biggest safety concern when it comes to anything I've done on a one wheel, whether I'm just riding or whether I'm shooting pedestrians they see the board coming and they don't know where to go and then they do this dumb fucking dance because they're like oh my god what the fuck do i do and then they jump right in fucking front of you anyway people are stupid okay people are just i'm just gonna fucking say it. people are stupid this tracking shot of the bike on the side this was a little easier i just stayed in the bike lane as long as you're going in the direction of traffic you don't have to worry about running into anything but i still had a second rider riding behind me so that nobody again was going to come up behind me or around me without me seeing. Good. I mean, I'm gonna have to cut through some of it, but yeah. it looked good. Uh, right. Broker, uh, get a uh, tracking shot of her going on the sidewalk. Uh, Nick, focus. All right, make that turn, make that turn. Stay on the sidewalk, stay on the sidewalk. 
All good, all good, all good. Whoa, all good. All good. That looked really good. It looks really good. Again, we shot as much of the content that we could by maxing out the Airbnb. So for the opening scene where Chaz is going through Tinder and swiping, or it's not Tinder, it's her. For the swiping shots, I just use an After Effects template and swap the graphics in, and then we made our own. I had Chaz pull up a green screen, replace the screens in After Effects, and then timed the swipes. I duplicated the layer, and then masked the thumb out. Uh, shooting on anything that the ground's going to be uneven, I would use a gimbal, depending on the look that you're going for. I shot this handheld. I did the best I could to keep the camera steady, but New York is full of fucking potholes. I'm going to play the whole commercial for you guys. Enjoy. A lesbian love story brought to you by Wet For Her. You're taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence. I wish you'd never let go. Wait, I have your package. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, pull over. Me, sir, please, I really need that bike. Thank you, sorry. behind you oh, open this package oh. wait oh, finally like Nick chasing this fucking U-Haul truck through Manhattan the things I do to make a paycheck I literally put my life at risk for this. <laughs> Why? Why am I doing this? This is a lot of fun. You like my new shirt? I'm Sean Cooper. If you like what I have to say when I come here to run my big fucking mouth, be sure to tap the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified when I come here to teach you guys how to get around all these tricky little rules on social media to help your clients. That's the, that's the problem with not using the teleprompter because I keep looking at this instead of that.